Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Arduino for Me tutorial. So today we'll be going over a sketch and a circuit, well just the circuit part actually, of something that I designed myself. Um, so for this video you're going to want um, your cord to upload the Arduino sketch to your Arduino board. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, or if you're not, um, if you haven't learned the basics of breadboarding, I do have tutorials on that, one video on breadboarding and one video on uploading your code to your board. That will also go w over um, where to find the code on my website, how to get to my website, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, check out that video, and, uh, and then you can continue with this. Alright, um, I'm going to be using this 9 volt power supply for my Arduino board. You don't have to do that. I just tend to do that because it takes up a lot less space on my table. All right, so let's plug it in, and I'll show you what this what this does. So basically, with this, we've got this switch here. I'm gonna turn the switch on. And you see, it turns this green LED on. Then, when I push this button, it turns on that red LED, and this button turns on that red LED. Um, basically, when you turn that off, there's no green there. And when you turn press this button, it doesn't do anything. Same with this button. So you have to have this on in order for it to do, uh, to actually work. So what that's doing is that's using a while statement. So while here, I'll show you here, while this switch is turned on, or while the Arduino board finds power coming out of this switch, it's going to turn this on. And while this is on as well, these other if statements will be true. If this button is pushed down turn the LED on. So that's the basic logic behind this. Alright, let's go over the circuit. <clears throat> Something that boggled me entirely was this switch. Now this switch has three leads on it. It's got these two which are in line with each other, okay, and it's got this one which is not in line. Okay, if you're looking at it from the front, it's like a triangle. It's going up down and over. Where it's going up, down, and there we just, just like that. Okay, now I drew up a little sketch here to help you guys figure that out. The pin that's not in line is this power out. So there's a dot here, and that's that pin that's not in line with the other two. It's the top of the triangle. Then there's ground and then there's power in. Power in and, and ground are in line with each other and power out is over here. It's out of in line. It's out of the line. Okay, so that's, that's basically how that switch works. Alright, so this is um, a basic circuit you've got. So if this here is power out and then you've got uh, power in and ground. So I'm just gonna take this here, bring it down to this level so I can show you guys. Um, let's see. There we go. All right. Basically, what I've done is this positive rail. I've this positively marked rail. I've put on the five volts using the five volts pin on the Arduino board. So now this positive rail has five volts going through it. I powered up the buttons by putting the... There's actually another way to do buttons than what I've been doing. If you just take the two... You only need one side of the button. Um, let me show you here. <clears throat> grab another button here all right you actually only need one side of the button even though there are four pins um, four pins here you only need two of those pins so the two pins pick any side uh, let's see yeah if you put it on you'll notice that there's a bit of a space between there whoops Man, I'm sorry a uh, bit of a space between there and 
that. So if you use these two here, okay, um, oh boy, this is not working out. Let's put this up here. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. So basically, I'm grounding this, this pin, and this is power in. So from the top, just like this, I put the communication. I like to call it communication because in the code, I've told the button one is on pin three on the Arduino board. So basically, I've got ground and communication on the same pin. All right. If you guys don't understand that, uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to explain it as best as I can. Okay. So ground and ground and communication are on the same pin, and then we got five volts going into the other side here. Okay. Um, so both buttons are wired up the same way, except button two is going into pin four, not pin three. Then the LED, they are polarized. So that means that um, I've talked about this in previous tutorials, but basically the long there are two leads, one's longer than the other. The long lead is positive and the shorter lead is negative. The negative lead needs to be um, grounded and the positive lead needs to be powered. Um, I've grounded my negative leads using a 330 resistor, 330K, and uh, that's going directly into the negative rail, which I have turned into ground by putting this uh, jumper on the ground pin. So it's going from the ground pin over to the negative rail, grounding the negative rail. So now my buttons are going into the negative rail and my switch is going into the negative rail and the LEDs are going into the negative rail as well as the powered rail. That's where those rails really come uh, become useful because you basically amplified the ground and the 5 volts so you can hook tons of stuff into it. Um, another thing I wanted to mention so you guys don't freak out, in the kit, the Sunfounder kit, that it will come with uh, this breadboard, all these components, so you don't have to buy them separately. The Sunfounder kit can be found uh, in the description below. If you click on my website, go to the projects page, there will be a link to the Sunfounder kit on Amazon. I would strongly suggest you buy it. It's only 22 bucks uh, plus shipping, and it has everything, um, everything here plus all of this, all this stuff in here, except for the LCD screen. So, yeah, it comes with a lot of stuff for 22 bucks. Um, so yeah, definitely get that, and you'll be able to do all my tutorials pretty well, pretty easily. So basically what I've done with the switch is I've hooked I've soldered these wires to it and the wires are then going into the breadboard. As because I've noticed when this switch is just on the breadboard, it's very difficult for the um for me to flip the switch without pulling it off the breadboard. So I tried to uh bring it out of the breadboard just so that I can kind of hold it and then flip it. So the, it's not really necessary, but it's nice to do. All right. Um, so yeah, that's basically that's it for today, guys. I hope you like this. If you have any questions or just general information, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube page. And um, we now have a blog post for Arduino for me. Check that out. Uh, there'll be a link for that in the description. And yeah, it's pretty cool. You can post a lot of comments and share your stuff. Also, don't forget to check us out on Google Plus because um, we have a community and a Google Plus page. All right, see you guys in the next tutorial.